In the last film of the series, Bella Swan, who will continue her life as a vampire from now on, along with her vampire husband Edward Cullen and their newborn baby Renesmee Cullen, make plans for embarking on a new life. However, the Volturi set out to thwart their plans. In this video, we will tell you many unknown facts about the Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 2 movie. If you want more of this kind of videos, don't forget to like the. The director of the film, Bill Condon, set up a swear jar to protect Mackenzie Foy, who portrays Renesmee, from swearing on set. Any actor or crew member who swore was instantly fined, and the money collected in the jar was donated to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Both an animatronic baby and real three-week-old babies were used in the film. Kristen Stewart preferred working with real babies because she felt they helped deliver a better performance. The locket Bella gives to Renesmee contains the inscription plus Q ma propre V in French, which translates to, more than my own life. After playing Bella Swan in all the films of the series, you might think Kristen Stewart's last day on set would be somewhat emotional. However, she described her last day on set in an interview as ridiculous and said, the last thing I did was step on a rusty nail running barefoot through fake trees just before a big promotional tour. Fortunately, Stewart's foot recovered from the mishap without trouble. In the series, actors like Kristen Stewart and Taylor Lautner wore wigs, and even Robert Pattinson wore a wig in the final film. Pattinson expressed disbelief about having to wear an orange wig for the last two days of Twilight during a Comic-Con panel. Dakota Fanning, who portrays the character Jane, has only one line in the film, which is simply's pain. There's an epic battle when the Cullens and werewolves confront the Volturi. However, there's also a version where the Cullens dance in a choreographed manner, which surprises the opposing vampire armies. MIA Maestro, who plays Carmen Denali, organized the opening. The reason for such sweet gestures by the Cullens was the six weeks the car spent shooting against a green screen, needing something to cheer them up. Maggie Grace, who plays Irina Denoli, said in an interview, We all needed the morale boost to bring us together in vampirism and merriment. The film had a budget of $120 million, making it the most expensive film in the series. Every song featured in the film is original and written specifically for the movie. Jackson Rathbone, who plays Jasper Hale, and Rami Malek, who plays Benjamin, previously acted together in the TV series, The War at Home Before the Film. The final line of the film is Forever, which is also the last line of the novel. According to IMDb, this film is the highest rated in the series with a rating of 